Hello friends, let's look at this question coming from 2022 grade 12 paper 1 mathematics. The question reads simplify 3 in brackets we have 4x minus 5 then plus 2. The number of marks that were located was 2. Now if you look at the question itself First of all, you need to identify the topic from which the question is coming from. You can agree with me that this is algebra. So the question is coming from um, algebra, grade 10 topic. So in a situation whereby you are given a question that involves brackets, that is your starting point. You have to get rid of the brackets first and then you simplify. To get rid of these brackets, it's not the matter of just throwing them, no. You have to multiply, and that's the way brackets get removed. So in this case, we are multiplying 3, which is outside the brackets, with everything that is inside here. So you start 3 times 4x. This will give you 12x. So you write 12x. Then minus 3 times 5 will give you 15. You write 15. Then outside there's plus 2. Have you seen that? From here, you will apply the concept of like terms. You add those that are like terms. So from this expression here, 12x is on its own. So this cannot be added to 15 or cannot be subtracted to 15. They are not like terms. 15 doesn't have x here, no. So the like terms here is 15 and 2. So here we have negative 15 plus 2. Don't say 15 plus 2, please. There's a negative in front of 15. So you have to say negative 15 plus 2. First of all, you write the 12x. You write it down, 12x here. The negative 15 plus 2. The signs here are different. Therefore, you are subtracting. You don't have to add. So this is the same as saying 15 minus 2. That will give us 13. Get the sign from the bigger number. 15 is bigger than 2. So the sign will be negative. So here we have negative 13. At this point, you cannot subtract this. They are not like terms. So this is the end. As you are doing your simplification, please do not add equal sign here. When marking that is wrong, we will be able to mark you wrong. Because this is not an equation. You are told to do what? To simplify. So the number of marks, the way they will be allocated here, we can simply say at this point here, we'll give you what we call method mark 1 and the answer mark 1. You get your full 2 marks. That's the way the marking is done. Bye-bye.